Woohoo! Welcome back to the Juicy Vapor channel, y'all. I'm Chef Andy. Welcome to 2017, 2016's behind us. Also, want to say happy holidays. Uh, speaking of, of 2017, one of the things I want to do for you guys is to try to make my videos a little more energetic, uh, a little more information, and the big thing, my resolution is going to be with you guys. Uh, a, I want to say thanks for stick, sticking with me, but I'm going to try to make these videos a little more, uh, you know, as far as time efficiency goes. I know uh, we need to get you the right information, but yet not kind of drag it on, and uh Reflecting back on some of my videos, I realize that sometimes I ramble just a little too much. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, as I said, we're going to try to make things a little more uh, quick, precise, give you guys the, the uh, information you need, and move on. So, 2017, here's my first video, what we're doing today. We're going to be doing a DIY e-juice. Flavor is going to be root beer. Root beer! All right. So check it out. One of the new things that I did this year, um, I started because I started buying things in bulk. So here's my big old jug of of uh, vegetable glycerin, and I've got another one with the PG as well. So what I started doing is because I'm buying things in bulk and I want to save time. Most of my recipes are pretty much the same as far as nicotine and how much flavor I use. Uh, and and uh, how much of VG, PG. So what I did was I have a lot of these uh, new bottles that came in with the little screw tips so they don't have those little orange cone tips that sit on top and you end up losing them. So I started making, uh, or I should say I started pre-mixing uh, my stuff in a bottle here. So this has got my VG, PG blend. This has got the nicotine in it. Uh, this also has the um, uh, liquid uh, sweetener, so it's all in there and it's been seeping. So the reason I'm doing that is, uh, and by the way, you'll notice I also label my stuff. I know my handwriting's a, a bitch, but, you know, it is what it is and you can read it. So pre-mixing these things, uh, that way I can make things quicker, so check it out. I'm making a 30 mil bottle of root beer, right? So I know what my sweetener needs to be. I know what my nicotine level needs to be, my VG, PG base. Boom. So now we, we take our flavor, right? This is root beer. All right. That's a concentrate, not an extract. Big. There is a difference there. Uh, but I want to stress to you that I'm using concentrate root beer. The MSDS uh, label has, uh, I think, something that says, I think, about 5% is what you should use for your concentrate. Um, by the way, if you haven't got it yet, go get E-Juice Me Up. It's a perfect little calendar. Uh, if not, doing the math on a calculator real quick is not hard at all. All you need to know is your percentages. So, having said that, the MSDS label says, I think, I, I think about uh, 5%. Now, I'm one of those guys that if a company offers it, I will always get the boost because I like more flavor. Um, so what this calls for here, for I like 15%. Um, if I'm using multiple, then I'll go 15 and 5, up to about 20%. So what I know here is that this here needs 4.5. I've already done the calculations. So you're going to want to have your syringe, right? Pull yourself out 4.5. I'm, I'm trying to do real careful here so that uh, I don't make the bottle spill or anything like that. And you'll notice that I'm right in the mid 4. So but it's about right. Take your syringe out. I like to put mine in here first. I'm a real um, big believer in capping your stuff up because uh, if it spills and I'm one of those guys that spills a lot I don't want to lose my product so we're gonna go ahead and put that 4.5 of flavor in there first right and this is the easiest part and partly because I'm a little lazy sometimes but this is the extra 
excellent part of this whole thing. All right, you saw me put my flavor in, right? Well, now I'm going to take this squeeze bottle. Got the little bullet tips that that uh, you can turn off and on, and, and and again, not that orange cone. Since we already have our flavor, everything else is pre-mixed right here. So I'm just going to open this tip, put the squeeze bottle in there. Well, let me go ahead and shake real quick first. And we're going to go ahead and just fill the rest of the bottle right on up. Because we've already done the flavor, which is the root beer concentrate, and everything else is pre-mixed in there, right? That way I don't have to lug this big old jug and the nicotine jug and <laughs> the sweetener jug. Uh, you know, we're trying to speed that process up, so here's how I did it. Um, once or twice a week, I go fill this bottle up, pre-mix it with my VGPG blends, just what I said before, and that way all you have to do is add the flavor, the concentrate first, and then just fill the rest of the bottle right on up, and I like to do a little shake. Um, what we're going to do, though, is before we use this, we're going to uh, go ahead and let it steep for a few days. Um, most of this stuff is already pre-steeped, so I just like to make sure I, I shake it up a couple times in those few days. So that's how I did it real quick. And by the way, I do have little labels that I have, and then I, I just tape them on my tinctures. Um, make sure that you label your stuff. Uh, if something, if for some reason you should give your product to somebody else, and they don't know what's in there, and by God, if they get... Uh, an allergic reaction, and I know I'm being drastic, but um, it, it could happen. So you you want to make sure that you label your stuff. Um, having said that, I'm just twisting that tip back down for my squeeze bottle, right? And we're done. That's it. Real quick. All because I took a few extra steps, and I went ahead and made several bottles, and it's right on par, uh, you know, so it works. All you have to do is figure out your flavor profile. If you have everything here with your VGPG blend, nicotine, if, if you use nicotine and your sweetener, all done. That's it. So anyway, as promised, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you for stopping by. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Let other people know. Uh, if there's something you want to uh, uh, see me demonstrate, review, whatever, Shoot me an email, you know, uh, do what you got to do. Thank you again for 2017. This is going to be an awesome year. So let's uh, finish it out right. Oh, yeah. See you next time.